Mm, good morning. It's Saturday morning, June fifth, about uh, seven. Just now, seven o'clock, I think, something like that. Gonna pull this starter out of here now. I've already got it loose. It's a heavy old bastard, that's for sure. We'll see what's going on with it. Nice day out so far. No rain yet. I'm sure it'll probably rain today sometime. It's supposed to. It's been raining almost every day for the past week. At some point. Apparently it's easier to drop it out the bottom and lift it out the top. It won't make it past the distributor, so I just dropped it. I'm going to try to bypass this thing. If you run it juice directly to the starter, it should at least spin. And it's not it's not doing a thing. It spawned about a half a revolution and that was it. Gonna pull it apart now and check the brushes and bearings inside. Okay. Somebody's rounded off one of the brush plate bolts, starter bolts there. It's supposed to be three eighths or seven sixteenths. No, it's three eighths. This one's loose. This one's mangled. And it looked like somebody had been in here and replaced the starter Bendix gear fairly recently. It's pretty clean. It just barely spins. I'm going to pull it out if I can get this other bolt out. I'm going to pull this commutator strip plate out of here first. And starter slam full of oil. Going to have to check them seals out. See what's going on. All right, pulled the case off of there. Definitely going to need brushes. They're fairly short. Not only that, but our armature down on our commutator strips is worn pretty good. There's almost no spacing in between the strips. If you look on here, it's pretty much flat. They should be undercut about a 32nd, I believe is what the spec was. And then what we're going to do is polish it, and then if you take a old hacksaw blade and cut it off, so you have a nice square on on it, you can go in between the strips here and recut them down slightly. It doesn't have to be much, but it's enough to have it so they're not touching. It works off a field. One side of brushes is positive, the other side's negative, and that's what actually makes it spin. But if they're contacting two strips at one time, it ain't gonna spin. We'll do those. I'm gonna head to Napa now, see if they got a brush plate or brushes and one of the bolts there. I'll pull the armature out later on and start working on it.